Hello there. I'm Bookwoman. That makes me Bookman still. It's day three, episode three. The cats wouldn't join us today, so we gave you the next best thing, their self-portrait in the background. So I want to start out with a fun book called The Authenticity Project. And I love what Claire Pooley has done with this book. Imagine if you're going to live in a community where you tell the truth, you're sort of bashful, and you start writing your thoughts about yourself in a journal, and then you leave it somewhere for someone else to find. That's what happened in this book. It's poignant. It has a warm ending. It is wonderful escapism. It's a good book club book, too. Now, I want every man out there watching this to raise your hand if you can relate to that story. But hey, that's what makes the world go around. We're all different. I'm going to pick C.J. Box, his 2020 bestseller, Long Range. This is his 15th or 20th in his series featuring the park ranger in Wyoming. Uh, lots of, this could almost be a finale for C.J. Box because he reviews the major bad guys in the series and where they are now. He reviews some of the former governors who have aided him and the politicians who have met disastrous ends as they well should have. <laughs> it's a very interesting uh, issue. I am sick and tired of a lot of the political bickering. If you are like I am and you long for the days when both parties could come together and work together for good, Pick up a book by best-selling author Kill Hunt. I know you've seen him on national programs talking about politicians reaching across the aisle. Across the aisle is one of his books. And Coos the Other, uh, another great discussion book and a great way to teach yourself about good things this country can do. Well, I wore my best political tie today just in honor of your book and mine. Mine is Losing Power. African Americans and Racial Polarization in Tennessee, the authors, Seku Franklin and Ray Brock Jr., make the point that the mix of race, class, politics, culture in Tennessee very accurately reflects in Tennessee how the nation has traveled over the last 25 years since I lived through and participated in many of the events, political events and government events, described in Losing Power. Uh, I found this to be a fascinating read, but if you want to understand how politics and class and race intersect, this is a great primer to start with. They've done a great job, very 